Hello there everyone and welcome to episode 16 of From Then To Now, the TEW 9 save where we take WWF and WCW from 1992 all the way up to the modern day and you've got back to back WCW here because it's Super Brawl, our first big pay per view of this save with WCW. We had the Rumble with WWF and we're building up to a Saturday night's main event but in WCW we've only had a Clash of the Champions. This is our first big pay-per-view. So of course, if you're new around here, make sure you do like and subscribe for more TEW content and the continuation of From Then To Now. But also, this episode is being recorded live on Twitch. So if you want to be involved in the future things, go and follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash ThePhantomTEW or you can follow me on Twitter and I normally post a reminder whenever I'm about to go live, which is phantom underscore T-E-W. Also, if you can't me on Twitter, you're welcome to chat. I'm always willing to chat to people on there as well. But, it, but how about this show? We kick things off with our announced team. It's Dusty, JR and Shivani. That's your team for the night. We have got so much on this card. Every single title is on the line including the NWA World's Heavyweight title. Six and a half, sixteen and a half thousand people in the reunion arena. We're in Texas. Let's get into this show. Well, not straight away. Because first off, we've got, once it loads, oh, I hadn't actually clicked the button. That would explain why it hadn't loaded. A 20 person battle royale. Featuring Abdullah the Butcher, Big Josh, Bob Backlund, Bobby Eaton, Dan Seven, Don Dallas Page, Elegante, Jimmy Garvin, Junkyard Dog, Larry Zabisco, Lex Luger, Michael, Michael P.S. Hayes, Mr. Hughes, PN News, Ron Simmons, Terence Taylor, Terry Funk, Thomas Rich, Ultimo Dragon, and The Z-Man. First eliminated was The Dragon, Ultimo. The last eliminated was Zabisco and Terry Funk. Your winner is Lex Luger, former world champion. Who may be leaving, may not be, but I also don't want to piss them off anymore. Hasn't handed in the notice yet in this save, and they had by the last time I'd done this save. Gets a 61 rating, not too bad. But the actual opening of the main show is Liger versus Pillman. Because we're getting this round hot, hot from the beginning. We're going full guns blazing. Jushin Liger defeats Brian Pillman in 11 minutes with the shooting star press. We wanted these wrestlers to go out there and steal. They, I wanted them to go out and have the best match on the card. This is part of a com obviously a convoluted four-way feud at the moment in the junior division. The other part of that four-way feud will be later. If this was modern day, this would be built into a fatal four-way. But it's not, which is very fun. Gets a 59 rating. Vinny Vegas defeats the Diamond Stud with Snake Eyes in our storytelling match of the night. Gets a 48 rating, 42 wrestling and 41 crowd. Who's afraid? Again, still need to rename who's afraid of the Big Van Vader. Someone in chat, remind me once we finish this bit. Gets a 48 rating. I'm happy with that. And after, uh, no, it's not after this match. We've got Marty Gennetti defeating Richard Morton with the Rocker Dropper. And Gennetti is your new light heavyweight champion. They don't click, which is annoying. Maybe we do need to invent the Fatal 4-Way 10 years early. But we have a new light heavyweight champion for the second show in a row. Or pay-per-view in a row. Oh, Andy. Th there's nothing nothing wrong with a good booking game. It's brilliant. We're actually being recorded on YouTube right now. And that's someone in the chat commenting. So we are live on Twitch if you want to see join us for the rest of this. But yeah, so Marty Gennetti is the new light heavyweight champion. Anoki defends... His NWA World Heavyweight Championship against Barry Windham. So Barry Windham jumped through all of those hoops on on uh, Saturday night and main event 
to lose. What what impact is that going to have on Barry Windham? Who knows? Las Paleja del Tello pick up the victory against the Young Pistols with Art Barr pinning Tracy Smothers with the Frog Splash. Tweet to have new United States Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Although maybe not heavyweight at the moment. Because La Paleja del Tella are not heavyweight. They're, like, they're juniors. They will eventually have massive feuds for the singles junior title. But we can outuse them here with the Young Pistols. Okay, so 51. But after the match... Yeah, after the match, we just get... They just get beaten down by two guys who are an awful lot bigger than them. An awful lot. It's Steve Williams and Terry Gordy. The Miracle Violence Connection. Of course, they debuted on Saturday night a couple of weeks ago. Had a promo segment on this week's main event. This is them making their intentions known. They want the United States Tag Team titles. Gets a 58 rating. Austin defeats Rick Steiner with the television title. Gets 51, both wrestling rating and crowd rating. 56 overall. Not too bad. Ricky Steamboat and Dustin Rhodes, shockingly, defeats the Headhunters. Although I am not having it be with a chicken wing. It's going to be with a rear naked choke just because I'm not having him lock in chicken wind he's just going to hold on and just take it out of the headhunter that's it he's just going to hold on no matter what he's going to get flung around and he's just going to keep his arm around there keep there and Steve Martin Rose make their fifth defence of the tag team titles Steamboat's obviously the best in the match we knew that That's a, that's a very disappointing rating, considering very hot crowds get 49. What the hell happened here? Lack of associated storyline, that is a big penalty, of course. That's annoying. Which, But I think we've got Arn and Vader here. It's a 64, 65, 69, 64. So was the storyline not hot enough? Yep, low heat. On who's afraid of the big man Vader, I suppose the DDP stuff probably should have been given its own storyline. I did just kind of want to siphon some of the heat off of this storyline. Didn't work because it penalised this one. And the main event gets a 72. Sting retains in this wild ball hardcore street fight. Sting defeats Cactus Jack with a stinger splash. And you know what? We're going to imagine... It's into a bed of barbed wire. Been put up on the corner. Jack's there. Already been put in it. And a stinger splash pushes him in further. He falls down. Still with the bed attached to his back. Rolls over. So he's not in the bed as he's being pinned. Because this is Cactus Jack. I'm probably going to be able to get away with that. Great stuff. And after the match. Vader attacks Sting. And that's how the show goes off the air, with Vader taking out the Stinger. What do we get overall? 69. Pretty nice. Not a major win. I mean, it's, I don't know if it's as good as last month's even. But, as we already know, we need to balance out before we start growing everywhere. Best performers? Oh, well, I really should have checked who it was as I was going. So, Steamboat was great. Vader was great. Um, and Liger was great. Everyone's pleased. Financially, we're getting two million from this show. Love that for us. Popularity recap. Again, in the ones we're in the low 60s, we're gaining. 
and the ones we're in the 70s, we're losing. We're used to that. Get a media scrum though for WCW. Um, and yeah, morale's not doing great. Um, I will sort it out. Steve Williams has got to work his way up the ladder. So is Terry Gordy. Dan Seven, he will become more consistent. Super Bowl 2 was a successful show. Everyone should be proud. Anoki, everyone has an off night. Steamboat, Steamboat has taken on Joey Mags as a protege. I think Steamboat will be a great mentor. And I do think he will. And so, for you guys on YouTube, that's where we're going to leave it. For you guys on stream, we get to continue. See you guys on YouTube later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.